Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> Here we are the next day after our last video. This is Saturday morning and this video is exciting. This Things is a went a little faster. A little faster. It wasn't T minus three days. It ended up being T minus one day. We are coming to pick up diesel techs for the last time. We are going full time today. Full time starts right now. And of course, it's a perfect start to our full-time journey, as today we're replacing all four house batteries. The other day when we came, our batteries were dead. We were having trouble with them over the last couple months. So we decided we're gonna replace them on this first day. We just held them in our bay until we, the day we were gonna leave. So now they'll be connected all the time. We'll have power to them. So hopefully they'll last a long time. So we're starting fresh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, a quick tip here. I'm replacing these batteries. We found out there's these little knobbies on the batteries on both sides. And they make a little rubber thing to grab these batteries. And you, you have to have these, if you, especially the bay inside the steps. There's no way to get the batteries down in there, but look, it makes it convenient to pick it up. So, gotta have this for sure. Get you one of these. Getting them installed. They say to make sure your brackets are in tight. Now hold the battery in tight. You don't want your battery moving around at all. Hey guys. Hey. Sec Welcome to our new home. New home. Yes. This is home is where we park it now. And I'm wearing the right shirt because that's what it says. <laughs> and uh, we are at uh, Highway 6 RV Resort. Right. And this was the place we were coming to when we last uh, talked to you. And we were told, we told you T minus three days. Well, it ended up being T minus one day because we actually moved in here Saturday. Right, when we got over here and we saw the place and this spot was available and you can see why we liked it. Yeah. Um, it became, we thought, you know, it's hard to do all the work in the house with Star being in there and still having a lot of things that we were gonna bring to the RV and that type of thing. Yeah. So, plus we were, you know, basically sleeping in our recliners at night because we had put new carpet in the bedroom and it wasn't closed it off. It wasn't fantastic. So yeah. Um, so we figured, you know, why not go ahead, get the RV, bring it over here, get going, and then we can just go back and forth to finish taking care of everything, you know, for the house. And and it's it's a great location. It's the perfect. It's the closest RV resort to our house. And it's, it's over close to where my parents are too and Stacy's mom. So right. actually it ended up being perfect. We were lucky. It was the last space they had available. So we pretty much had to take it or leave it. You right. Know. And so we'll be doing, we're gonna be here for a few weeks while we 
get the house on the market. We still are doing some work the next day or so, uh, trying to finish everything up over there. I think there. she's being very, uh, a lot more than a day or so. We've got several days of work left to do. And even even though we get the house on the market, we still aren't totally out of it. We're right. still got work to do. So. My point is though, <laughs> We're, get, we're easy to get back and forth uh, while yes. we need to on that. And uh, so, you know, while we're here, after we have some time to kind of relax and get organized and really take a look at the, the resort here, uh, we'll bring you a full review of that too in case you're in Houston and you're interested in checking it yeah, out. Yeah, and of course, see behind us, it's we have a beautiful view out of the front of the RV. It's yeah, very it's a nice. Pull inside. Pull inside. So we're looking right at the lake. And they got great amenities here. So we'll go over that. But this morning, we last night we loaded up the our cargo trailer. Yeah. To make a big donation to the Salvation Army. And we'll kind of show you that. We got our this space gives us enough room to do this. Um, well, let me just turn around this yeah. way. Yeah. And there we are. we're able to fit on our space, we can fit our cargo trailer and our truck. Yeah, that's really on convenient. Yeah. Stacy's got me on the wrong side. So you see our cargo trailer back there and um, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. So we have plenty of room. Yeah, and because the Salvation Army drop-off spot is just right down the road, maybe 10 minutes south of here. And, and they couldn't pick up we tried to get them to pick up, but they... We live very far west, and their next time to be out in our area was in December. So yeah. that was too... We couldn't wait that long. Hopefully the house is sold by then, but we don't know. But we could. We definitely couldn't have all the stuff still in it at that point. So yeah. we're just going to... You know, we loaded it up. We're bringing, them, bringing it to them. We so. got We got to learn on this phone that when we're pointing, we got to point at the direction, not where we see it on the phone. Well, excuse that, we both Yeah, we normally up. don't film on the phone, so yeah. it's a, but we're trying to... Something new for be, us. We're trying to be simple during this process. Yeah, so. yeah, so hang with us. We'll, we'll keep sharing our journey here. But and, we are uh, officially full-time. We're officially full-time. We're living in the RV. Yeah, and we're, we're actually getting some sleep. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, that's great. One more shot of the view here. We swing you around. Whoop, Make we'll Tom move. <laughs> there we go. There we are. And there's Star. There's Star. She's loving it. There we go. All right, getting the tape so we can paint. <laughs> Tom's doing the back door. I'm going to fix the front door. Yep. That's right. Stacy's about to go do the front door. So while Tom's working on painting the back door, I'm working on the front door. Our front door is a stained wood with a faux iron grill that you can pull away to clean the glass. And as you can see, it's, you know, had some wear over the time, so I've scraped all of the loose black paint off, and I am repainting it. And what was interesting is, when we asked about this, how best to do it, everybody said, you put on rubber gloves and you use a sock. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, you know, it's, uh, it's working. I actually find this a lot easier to do than a brush. So we'll see how the finished product turns out. <laughs> kind of takes me back to finger painting. Another big drop off here. This one trailer full and truck full. Slowly whittling away. Taking a break, catching a little ball. Austin's playing baseball today down here in Galveston. In between working on the house, we grab Kay. Yes, and... they brought me. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy's back. Headed down for a break to baseball. Stacy's behind the camera. Go White Caps. Go White Caps. <laughs> We're still working, trying to get everything ready to go for pictures tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's been it's been a long run here. <laughs> yes, it has, but I think we're gonna be ready. 
Well, we are going to be ready. Yeah. When we get it done this evening, we'll do a, a quick walkthrough for everybody to kind of show you what we've done. <laughs> maybe tomorrow after pictures, because then we'll have more light. Yeah. We're losing light. Good point. Good point. <laughs> The door's really looking good. Stacy did both the door, and I think we showed earlier this, uh, let me see if I can come around and get this. Second coach drawing now. Right, but it really, really looks good. I mean, it was, it was really neat and some paint. Yeah, I think it'll look better even after it dries. And yeah, it's looking like a brand new door. First impression. That's it. osmosis system through so we went and got a few adapters and I am plugging in this and hopefully this will be the end of this It is a There it is. There it is. Yeah, and we'll give you a quick walk through here in just a second. And uh, it, it, this is awesome. It's on the market. Let's get her sold. The old lock box. Oh, also, we'll put a link down in the video to the listing for the house if you want to take a look. Who knows? You might want to buy it. <laughs> Come on in. There's the dining room. Those are the new floors we put in. Yep, and here is Stacy's old office right here. Put new floors in here as well. Yep. Gosh, you echoes now. Yep. And we've got some pictures we're sorting through, but. seven years ago, something like that. Yeah, so that's it, guys. 
That's the run through on the house. Woo! <laughs> We're done, but you know what? That's our old life. And our new life is... Welcome to our new life here. Our full-time RV adventure. Look at the view. <laughs> Beats the heck out of the sticks and bricks. Not a bad way to start. Not a bad way to start. We made it. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been um, quite a couple weeks. I mean, it. It's I don't been... even know really how many weeks. It just kind of days rolled into weeks and. I don't even, you know, it's like every day, I'm not even sure what day it is, you know? <laughs> We've made so many trips to the donation place, so many, luckily in our neighborhood, it's it's always big trash pickup day every day, which well, we're lucky. Well, every, twice a week. Well, twice a week, yeah. that's what I mean, but it's not like once a month in some neighborhoods. And that's it, really lucky. That's paid off because, you know... <laughs> We got rid of a lot of stuff, and you, we and we had to throw away a lot of stuff too. You never know how much stuff you really have accumulated until you really start going through it. And you know, I think it's one thing if you're moving. At least it was for us. If you were moving from one house to another house, where you're just you can box stuff up and deal with it later. Yeah. But when you're, you know, downsizing and and looking to really get rid of everything. everything. <laughs> You really have to take the time to go through everything and see what it is, and it's just amazing the things that you find. Some good and some, what the heck were we keeping this for? <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna even take us a little while to organize everything in the RV, and we're gonna have to downsize from here, too. I mean, from what's in that RV right now, we're not gonna show it to you right now, because it is a wreck. That'll be a future video <laughs> when yeah. we, while we're figuring out. We've been so busy trying to get everything out of the Sticks and Bricks house that we haven't even begun to try to unpack and organize what's going to be with us in the RV. So it's it's a mess at the moment. Yeah, and and before we forget it, we really want to throw out a big thank you to Daniel. Yes. who's uh, my best friend and he'd do anything for us he's awesome we've both known him and his family for for decades yeah and, and you, you saw a little video of him earlier in this of him doing some caulking and stuff but he did a lot of a lot of work on the inside of the house and he, he's a master carpenter master carpenter he's the one that built our kitchen and all that built and out my office when built, we first bought built the house. out stacy's office that's right put the big beautiful doors on there he's phenomenal doors. we yeah. love you daniel yeah thanks mm -hmm. and and to brian shout yes. out to brian another friend um who's a ma he's a master electrician master electrician it's good to have friends uh, this these kind of friends because they they can do stuff there's no way that I can do. And Brian's done a lot of stuff for us over the years, adding electricity on the outside of the house for, we used to be like the Griswolds for Christmas for decorations. Christmas, yeah. <laughs> and so Brian added a lot of electrical to the outside and he ran the electrical when we uh, added, added the, the hot, hot tub, tub and he added electrical in my office and extra electrical to the mother-in-law suite for Tom's office over the years yeah. and so and we also want to say thank you to all y'all for your support absolutely because it, it really helped when we were working till 11 12 at night and we'd come back and read comments of y'all's encouragement and and it Believe me, it helped, it, and it's good. And we're so glad to have y'all all along on the journey with us. Yeah, makes makes this so much more fun for us. Yeah, and uh, it was it was really uplifting when we would be exhausted at the end of a long day, and uh, we'd sit down, you know, and go through the comments that you guys had left, and it was just. Uh, it really helped us push through. So right. thank you very much. Thanks. It worked. We're really excited. The house looks great. I mean, we would have never imagined we'd get it back to, I mean, it almost looks brand new. And and it took a lot of hard work. And and um, hopefully it sells quick. That's that's the plan. So we can get out of here and, and go travel uh, and really cover Texas well. 
and and we're excited for that and we're excited to bring you new videos on that and and i know a lot of you had have uh, have left comments and said you know you're looking forward to seeing future park videos and things like that and we are definitely going to be bringing you a lot of those coming up uh, in fact i think next next week maybe we'll do a full tour park review of this park where yeah. we're staying this rv park yeah um, and i think you'll you'll like it because it, it's a neat place and so we'd really like to share it with you and and Stacy and I feel very lucky that we found this place. It, and again, that's a shout out to our neighbor and fellow yes. RVer. We, we thank you, you, Judy. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> you know, Scott and Judy, we travel with a lot. And um, you've probably seen him in some of the other videos. Yeah, from time to time. From time to time. And and Judy, we were just eating dinner. You know, a little over a week ago, and and we had no idea where we were going. And and Judy remembered this place here so we you know decided to give it a try and yeah. she was dead right it was perfect it's been really nice so far yeah and it's been very convenient being able to go back and forth to the sticks and bricks house to finish getting it ready because what we did i don't know if we explained this to y'all yet but what we did was we decided to go ahead and move into the rv a few days earlier than we had expected so that we could really just focus on getting the house ready uh, without having extra stuff in it, without having Star in it. She was getting stressed out uh, yeah. being in the middle of all that. And and so, and it was nice because at the end of the long day of, of working and painting and cleaning and decluttering and selling and donating and all those chaotic things that we've been going through at the house, it was nice to be able to come away to our new home and just relax at the end of a long day. Absolutely. So, so that worked out really well. Highly recommend that for any of you who are thinking about uh, making this change. Um, you know, don't wait until your house is sold to go ahead and move out. Go ahead and. Well, I mean, as far as we're concerned, it worked out. It worked out good way. for us. Yeah, it really Something did. Something to consider. Something to consider, and and it, and it did make it easier once we made that transit and then you know it was a lot nicer to sleep in our bed instead yes. of sleeping in our recliners because yeah. we had closed off the bedrooms because we had brand new carpet in there and Stacy and I were sleeping in recliners and, <laughs> and she couldn't sleep no. in the recliner so uh he it can helped. sleep anywhere it I can, bother yeah I can sleep on the floor <laughs> but but uh no it, it worked out good but you know thanks for following us on this journey and and hopefully you continue to follow us because it's only beginning it's only beginning and we and you know we're gonna hopefully show you a bunch of stuff around texas and and uh, we're excited for it we, we can't wait this is this is what we've been preparing for for five years yep. you know and it's finally happened and and um it, it's just awesome and so you know hit like and subscribe and and if you subscribe you can hit the it's the, the bell the little bell mm -hmm. notification if you hit that bell what that means is it's going to notify you when we bring out a new video which we do a new video every sunday at 10 a.m now sometimes the time shifts a little few minutes one way or the other but but we always strive to do 10 a.m every sunday and that's central time that's central time that's right and then hopefully in the future we might, we're, we're probably gonna go to two videos a week, but right now it's still one, and uh, we'll just try to bring you as good a content as we can. Yeah, and you know what? We'd love to see y'all's comments, so please leave us a comment. Uh, we're still in the process of this. Yeah. The, house, the house might be ready to go, but the downsizing continues, yep. the transition to full-time RV life continues. Well, we're full-time. Well, we're living in the RV. We're living in the RV, but, but there's still a transition getting oh, yeah. used to it and everything. So we'd love to hear y'all's comments and questions. Encouragement. Encouragement, yes, please. <laughs> and, you know, we'd also love to hear about, for future videos, what you would really love to see. Yeah. So yeah. please leave us a comment. Tell us what you're interested in. Give us your thoughts. Tell us where you are on your journey. We've gotten a lot of comments on people saying that they're in the process or will be in the process of yeah. downsizing sometime in the near future. So we'd love to keep posted on, on your journey. Or and if there's questions you've got yes. that you want us to answer, um, 
we would love to answer those. Absolutely, because this is all about community. Yes. And we're so glad to have you along. And so, yeah, we look forward to reading those. I guess until next time, y'all, safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.